welcome back to this fourth video dedicated to the winners of the first composition competition by TG Music. Uh, this competition was dedicated to composing for double bass. And our fourth winner is uh, David John Roach. Uh, he composed for me uh, this uh, short piece divided in three movements. And uh, the sonority of these pieces um, is like um, for me hard rock uh, because it explore um, the lower register and the middle register of the instrument in a kind of rough way in a good way of course um, and it uh, enhanced uh, the powerful uh, sound of the instrument um, it it should be a good piece as an intermezzo between uh, two maybe cantabiles or a quiet piece in a recital perspective. Uh, but now I'll stop to talk and enjoy the piece.
Hello, my name's David Roach. I'm a Welsh composer based in the UK and I wrote the piece Five Page Triptych for solo double bass as part of this competition. It's been a really wonderful experience to work so closely with a double bassist and I'm really grateful to Valentina and the competition in general for setting this up and giving up so much of their time, especially during the middle of a pandemic when so many performances are being cancelled. It's a yeah, a really, uh, you know, a difficult time for a lot of musicians, myself included at the minute. So it's really great to get stuck in so intensely and excitedly to a new piece of music. Uh, my piece, Five Page Triptych, uh, is in three movements. So there are two smaller outer movements that are kind of simple and naive in character. And then there's a centre movement that is much more aggressive and attacking and dissonant. I think this reflects my style quite well uh, a lot of my music is either sort of manic and uh, manic and panicking and aggressive and um, that's the middle movement or it's um, meditative and yearning and those are the outer movements I think except in this particular case they also have that element of simplicity which was something I was really looking to engage with in the piece of music the hardest thing in writing this piece for me was uh, the fact that I'm usually writing much larger scale music, you know, in terms of instrumental forces. So I'm usually writing things for like orchestras or chamber groups. So writing for a solo instrument meant that everything was really exposed, um, audible, and basically that everything has to be approached differently. The, the lines have to be clear. There has to be a real solidity and sense of intention to the music, I think, to make it work appropriately in these settings. Um, working with Valentina was a really essential part of this process because it meant that I could test things out and discuss elements of the piece that I would be unsure about. Um, if you don't get to work with a performer when you're writing a piece of music, then the thing that you write will probably have to be a little more conservative in structure because you'll have to write for general hypothetical instruments rather than for someone's instrument. So working closely with Valentina meant I could write something for that person, for that person's musical instrument, and, and for the type of music that they play. So you really get to collaborate fully. The the, the instrument is, is, is kind of closely related to the player as well. I see, in my own playing, I see it in the following way. You know, if you wouldn't give a jazz guitarist a heavy metal riff to play, you know, even if they respected the music and played the music as best as they could, they might not play it as well as someone who is really uh, used to playing that kind of music and into playing that kind of music. They are different types of music, so we shouldn't expect people to kind of be able to put their best foot forward in something that they're not really used to or not really confident in. So I try to write according to what I think that person would do a really strong job of what I think they like and what I think they want from the instrument. Another really challenging aspect of this for me was the the register of the double bass. Uh, it probably won't come as a shock to most people that the double bass is pretty low. So um, most of my music, however, is kind of mid-range and up. So it's, yeah, you know, the, the, I'm used to writing music in that register and used to writing harmonies that speak clearly in that register. So to go out of it is to go out of my comfort zone. And the way I kind of managed this was by making the music quite aggressive in parts or making it simple in other parts because it forces you to either create music that supports a particular type of character or create music that has a particular type of clarity to it. So it really focuses your intention and allows you to thoroughly engage with aspects that aren't just you know or oh, how do i do what i normally do but for a double bass you know so you uh, for me i really had to think carefully about what i wanted to get out of this um the piece itself was originally based partly on um a composition i wrote for kebra saint charles as part of the tanglewood uh music fellowship and their particular instrument was a, a really unique instrument as well and it had a very wide range so i wanted to create I wanted to create something different and something new for Valentina. So it, it respected the limits and um, idiosyncrasies of the instrument that, that they played. So I made sure to spend time discussing this and making sure that this was present in the music. It was an incredibly worthwhile and exciting thing to do. And I'm really grateful 
um, to be able to have done it. I hope you enjoy listening to the piece. Thank you very much.